Seeing none, then we'll proceed with the questions we've received. And I think most of these are, are directed for all of them. There's not uh, any, there may be one somewhere down here as well, but I look like most of them will work uh, for everyone to answer. So uh, the first one is, what creative solution do you have for making a community college education available to all who want to attend and creative is underlined? I'm going to hand the card to you so you can pass it down to each other. And we'll start with Jen. If we, had, if we had our way, we'd have every student role. What you need to understand is the state mandates our enrollment based on full-time equivalent students. And therefore, when they base that on full-time equivalent students, as Trustee Blumenthal said, anything over that we do not get paid for. Now the question here says, what creative solution? The creative solution is get rid of the state governing the community. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yes.
when we talk about creative solutions, we're talking about dollars and cents. If you're going to recruit all students, you have to have classes available. In order to have classes available, you need to pay the faculty in order to teach them. Our Riverside Community College District faculty has been absolutely phenomenal in working with us as partners and going the extra mile and taking extra students and attempting to work with the board and the administration trying to solve our crunch. One of the things we're also taking a look at is more online computer classes. Uh, there's a disadvantage to that that you don't have some of the college experience that we all talk about, but it is a modern age. So more online classes are being, are, are being addressed. One of the other things is that with our new $3 million grant, uh, the Gates Foundation, and working with Riverside Unified School District and, and Alvord Unified School District, and trying to increase the college going rate. What that means, if that translates to, is they will graduate high school with reading skills and math skills. If they can graduate with higher skills, we don't have to offer as many remedial classes. If we don't have to offer as many remedial classes, we can offer additional classes in which we can get more students into those classes at the same prices that we're paying now. Those are the areas that I'm taking a look at, that the board is taking a look at currently, but those are not short-term uh, solutions. They are going to take a lot of time developing research. Well, I agree with whatever Virginia just said, because I wish I was a criminal defense attorney, and so I'll uh, Certainly, uh, and I've said it before in other, uh, in other venues, uh, we're trying to leverage uh, the use of technology and online learning. It's not a panacea, as I've said. Um, you know, I think there has to be a relationship with a bricks and mortar institution uh, for people to really uh, have an educational experience that they deserve through the community college system and the relationship with the faculty that you just can't get online. Uh, so I think we need to, to try to leverage that as best we can. Um, making uh, creative solutions uh, available. Um, you know, I'm a landscape architect and a planner, so when I talk about making education available to people, if people are coming to a campus, they've got to be able to get there. If they're disenfranchised, I mean, it's got to be a location that has good accessibility to public transportation. Uh, if they are driving, it's got to have a place to park that uh, uh, that is convenient to their students, they don't have to arrive two hours before class, uh, that may interfere with uh, their job, their single mother, single father, uh, their childcare, and those types of things. So those, you know, um, those are real things that, that can be addressed in the physical planning aspect um, that can be created. Uh, I think that, uh, you know, third, uh, you know, working with the different outlying facilities like Ben Clark and other institutions that uh, uh, have relationships with RCC so that we have remote facilities that people can have access to so that we don't have all the facilities at one or three particular locations that they're spread out. Thank you.